There's nothing suspicious in the data concerning this man called Roth Mantell. I checked Vector as well, to be sure, but there was no information on him at all. I'm sure Dimitri's done that as well, but why has he placed him at the core of the project now? Perhaps that's just how attractive the T-Weapon system is. It's also possible he wanted to eliminate Vector's influence. Yes, but I bet there's more to it than just that. I also have information regarding the Elsa. In order to break through that hypersphere, we will need output on the level of the phase transfer cannon equipped on Omega. That's not going to happen. We can't use it considering how unstable its systems are. And besides, Dimitri would never authorize it. Then breaking through that hypersphere is impossible with current Federation technology. You mean we'll have to give up on rescuing the Elsa? No. I just said it can't be done with Federation technology. According to my database, there is another weapon capable of breaking through it. Another weapon? Cosmos's tertiary weapon system. She is capable of the same output as an ES, so she may be able to break through. Cosmos is already slated for disposal, so it's just as unlikely as your first suggestion. Is your situational analysis capability defective? How are we supposed to equip her with her tertiary weapon system? And send her to that region of space? With all due respect, you are the one who was unable to analyze the situation, Dr. Mizrahi. That freighter infiltrated a region of space under martial law for an illegal expedition. Officially, it doesn't even exist. If you want to rescue something that doesn't exist, you'll have to take a certain amount of risk. You mean...? Yes. Cosmos has already been thrown out. That doesn't mean we can't reuse her. You certainly don't think small, do you? I was designed specifically for such objectives. <laughs>